2016, the Blue Wall, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania. It crumbled. Clinton lost all three states. Everyone's got the pit in their stomach that the same thing is happening again. Right. So what do you see happening in this state? We've averaged about a three to four point Biden lead, but this race was decided by 0.77 percentage points, less than 23,000 votes. So a 1% race is a pretty good bet here. One interesting question will be whether there is further movement in opinion from what we saw pre-Kenosha in early August. In June, 61% of registered voters approved of the protests. Then over the course of the summer, you get what the protests looked like in Milwaukee and in Madison. Those were things that were roundly condemned by both the left and the right here. But the net effect of all of that is approval of the protest dropped from 61 to 48 between June and That's early August. What's striking though is we saw no shift in evaluation of how President Trump has responded to the protests. He had a 30% approval rating for protests in June, 32% in August. This has been his weak point since Charlottesville. At that time, the president got about a 30 to 33 percent approval of handling race relations. And that hasn't changed over the summer. And so this is the weakest part of the president's portfolio. So if you want to look at the law and order emphasis, it's in effect saying, yes, this is an issue that I can't make go away, but I'm going to make at least some people see it in a different light. He's trying to take some bad facts and tell a different story. Wisconsin is a very pro-police state and potentially uh, a fertile ground for the law and order arguments that the president is trying to make. So would you expect to see numbers change in Trump's direction but next week because of that? Because you can watch the police shooting in Kenosha and be reinforced in what a problem this is, and because you can see the buildings burning and be reinforced in the law and order issue, and not seeing the data yet, I would bet we see moderate or modest change rather than night and day change. So it could be a situation where both camps look at Kenosha and see what they want to see. Doesn't this seem like the story of the year?